All right. So what I want to do is I want to show you a couple of the things with the exposure dial on how to make some changes. So this dial here has a lot of different types of shots that we can take. We're going to spend most of our time in P, TV, AV, and M. If you notice over here on the left hand side of the dial, there is a little white line. That little white line is what you line up with to determine what setting you're on. So like right now it's on TV, right there it's on AV. We're going to start with this first project on P. So once you have that set, that's how you do P. Now with P, the camera is going to pretty much do everything for you except take the picture and then change what's known as ISO. This ISO will learn about all the stuff with this, but it's how sensitive to light your camera is. What that means is if you're in a dark setting, we need a higher number. If we're in a light setting, we need a lower number. And I'm gonna show you how to make those changes. So on here, if I press the play button, it'll bring a picture up. If I choose the Q button right there, this will show you certain things. If I choose the display button and I press that several times, it changes multiple times. And so each one of these buttons does something slightly different. But let me show you how you can change the ISO. You would think, I'll just press ISO. It doesn't work that way. You've got to come up here and press your shutter partially down and then come back. And now it's giving you all of these different settings. When you press the ISO, now it will let you make a change. If it's sunny out, we do like 100 or 200. If it's shady, we'll do four to eight. If it's in a classroom or it's really dark, we need to be at eight to 16 or 3200. But if you go up that high, we're gonna have some problems with the what's known as noise, which we'll talk about later. But to make the setting, if I ask you to change it to 200, You'll go to 200 and you'll hit the button that says set. And now it's at 200. If I want you to change it to 400, you'll press the ISO again. You'll move over, you'll hit set, and now it's at 400. That ISO button will only work though when you have this on the display. And to get to this on the display, you've got to press the shutter button halfway down and it will bring that display up.